We stopped by Lisa Laporta's booth again, and who's, she's quickly becoming a hardware show favorite. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lisa, can you tell us a little bit about your line here in Jordan? Yes, well, um, after being on television doing design makeover shows for so long, uh, I have now teamed up, teamed up with Jordan Manufacturing to come out with a line of furniture and replacement cushions um, because people are wanting to create outdoor living rooms now, not just patios. And um, so this is my first branding licensing initiative with my name on it, and I'm really excited about it. That is so exciting. And you showed me this this box that you guys are putting together, this merchandising package, which it's got to be cool. Can you tell us a little bit? As a designer, people are always asking me questions. They're often about color. They're often about how to finish a room. They can go and buy the furniture, but they don't know how to complete it to make it look as pretty as Mm -hmm. what they see in magazines and catalogs. So I am trying to sell... Um, pillow packs that can take that people can take home and basically open up the box throw out the cushions there will be tips inside that will tell them what accessories oh to use and colors to use and then it's sort of like a ready room in a box yeah that's because um, I want to sort of take what I know and what I do as a designer and share it because mm-hmm. There are questions that I commonly get asked by people. They're always the same. <laughs> I'm trying to answer and address those questions. So it's almost like you're going into the consumer's home and helping them. Yes, because I can't be everywhere, right? <laughs> what? And I'm working on TV. So, uh, yeah, I, I basically want to sort of take what I do as a designer and simplify it and make it accessible for people to do themselves. That is a great idea. Now, you were telling me that this green initiative and um, some of that recyclable ideas are really big with home improvement um, products today. Now, you told me that these products are made from recycled fibers? Yes. Well, first of all, Jordan Manufacturing is one of the largest pillow manufacturers in the world. And what people don't know is the fibers that exist in their cushions, which they make. They manufacture everything from the fiber to the fabrics, and then they produce them and, you know, sew them and do everything. Um, The fibers are made from recycled water bottles, recycled soda bottles, right? And it's green messaging is so hot. And when you're trying to sell these days, anytime you can attach an eco message to it, that's a great thing. Um, Jordan is also producing a line of furniture that's made from, made in America, from sustainable wood and it's heat treated and it's green, the fabric that goes on it, the fibers in the pillows, everything is green and that's a really hot sellable message. Okay, that's great news for retailers. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about, um, I know with the economy, um, consumers are now trying to create those environments in their home and and maybe not buying the entire furniture sets, but how do you... uh, uh, you know, cater to that. Yeah, it's interesting because the economy is bad, but the replacement cushion business for outdoor furniture is booming because people aren't necessarily going out and buying brand new furniture, but they're taking what they have or they're buying used stuff. They're sprucing it up with spray paint and refinishing it, and they're going out and buying gorgeous new replacement cushions, and it looks like new, yeah. which is also a green thing to do, right? Reuse, recycle, reinvent sort exactly of what you have. <laughs> so it's a real really great message. Um, Replacement cushions are a really good place to be. And the good news is you don't just have to walk into the big box hardware stores and or any store and just be limited to what's on the shelf. Right. Because uh, a lot of the companies now are offering custom sizes. A lot of the web companies, you can go on and click on the size, the shape of the cushion, Mm -hmm. and then pick your own fabric. So you're not even limited to what's just being offered on any given you know shelf at the store right it seems like you guys have a versatile product and it's I know it's a quality product you know Um, what what are your new these are I know you have some new styles out there yes well this group which we're calling the deep seating group and it's made out of eucalyptus wood um, I'm my philosophy is to make things adaptable so for example um, the seating group itself it's an x back which i love yes. i think it could go in a mediterranean style home it could be in a colonial style home it really goes with everything same philosophy is true of the cushions you can take any cushions onto this set and completely transform the look oh that's great so i am a big fan of going neutral on the big ticket items okay. and in this case you know this is a bright happy color but it's still fairly neutral you could completely transform the look of this set by what cushions you put with it, right? I see, yes. And so I always sort of 
try and impress upon people to be conservative with the big ticket pieces and then go crazy. I mean, you could change out your accent pillows so easily every year when you get bored. Okay. You can follow trends with replacement cushions, but be a little more conservative with the big ticket items and you'll get more longevity and spend less money in the end. And, and even maybe hit up some of the, the packaging in a box. Yes, so this is my Lisa Laporta pillow pack box. And um, this would arrive at someone's door and have five pillows in it, different sizes, and they could basically just spread it out in the room and voila. <laughs> that is a great idea. How about any final tips that you might have for any consumers out there trying to create that staycation environment in their home? Yes, I think, um, I think have it reflect your personality. That I always encourage people to let their okay. personality come out. If they don't necessarily know what palette or what colors to choose from, you can learn a lot about your preferences by looking in your own closet, okay. right? I can tell a lot about a design client just by what they're wearing. And I think there are some great cues for what you want to create your environment. Um, from what your clothes look like. That is such a great idea. Thank you so much for having us and so much for the tips. Of course, I'm happy to be here. Have Thank a great you. day at the show. All right, thanks, you guys too. <laughs>